What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power of Play with CJ. I just want to focus in on uh, TJ Oshie. Uh, plus, you know, the Bruins have an interest in the St. Louis Blues forward. First of all, I've said this on the show a couple hundred times. Uh, I'm not that big of an Oshie guy. I like him as a player. I just think even before the Olympics, people kind of overrated him. And then, you know, God knows during the Olympics. For, and the other thing is, during that shootout, I was actually swimming with manatees off the coast of Florida, so I didn't watch it live, so there's a little disclaimer. But, you know, again... I get why the Bruins, the Bruins got to do something. I've said that ad nauseum as a Boston Bruins fan. They've got to do, um, you know, they've got to shake it up. And would it be cool to have a TJ Yoshi Boston Bruins jersey just from a style standpoint? Yeah. I mean, it'd be sick. But bottom line, what are you going to give up for him? And, you know, I don't know what the, what the, um, the, the Blues would want. I mean, it's St. Louis Erickson. I mean, those two, one for one. I don't know. I, I like Louie. I think the coaching staff has mismanaged him. I think he's been injured too much in his time in Boston. I don't think either one of those are his problem. I'm a Louie Erickson guy. I always have been. So that's something that's like, well, do you really want to throw him under the bus for what reason? I mean, and before I say, well, Oshie's younger. I don't think they're they're about a year apart. Oshie's 27. He'll be 28 uh, on next week. And Louie Erickson's 29. So they're a year apart. That's not that big of an issue. Um, you know, career high in points Oshie was last se- for Oshie was last season, um, 60 points, um, and a, on a very, very good St. Louis Blues team. Uh, and uh, Louis Erickson's career high in points. I, I know he's had 37 goals before, and their cap hits are comparable. I think Louis making 4.6, and uh, Oshie's making 4.1. And, uh, yeah, oh, Erickson's career high is 73 points uh, for the Stars. And, again, you know, the fact he's struggled in Boston – with the injuries and being in the coaching staff, Stockhouse doesn't help him. Nor does the fact Tyler Sagan's absolutely taken off in Dallas. But, you know, I just think it's really, um, this, this isn't the trade to make. I don't think Oshie's, you know, if you're going to give up a player like Erickson, he needs something a little bit better than Oshie. You know, they're, they're not too different as players. I mean, you know, this year, is Oshie having a better year? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, but I think he's seventh on the Blues in scoring. I mean, he, he's, you know, a good player on a great team. You know, and the Blues have salary cap situations. Um, you know, much like the Bruins do, Vladimir Tarasenko needs a new deal. I was reading Wyshynski right now. Um, Jake Allen needs a new deal. Uh, and, you know, other guys are up for the next couple of years. So, you know, is it worth moving Oshie? I mean, I guess... But, yeah, I don't think the Bruins are the right fit for him. I think, I mean, Peter Shirelli is getting something. I'm absolutely pissed off with the um, the lackadaisicalness, if that's even a word. You know, I just don't think he's, there's a sense of urgency there for him. And that, that kind of, you know, you need that. You know, I'm not saying go out and make a move for the sake of making a move. But you got to do something. And, you know, the Bruins' pending salary cap situation this summer is not looking great. Um, you know, I, I wrote about that for Rant Sports. You know, this next summer could be an absolute nightmare for them. McQuaid's unrestricted. Tory Krug and Riley Smith are restricted again. Dougie Hamilton's restricted. Mac, Matt Patel, he's unrestricted. Who cares? But, you know, that's that's a, uh, a not great situation. So, you know, we'll see what happens. But, again, I wouldn't doubt the Blues moving Oshie. If I would have traded him, I would have traded him last year when his stock was at an all-time high. I think it was Rare Admiral from Barstool tweeted this. How many Bruins fans knew who T.J. Oshie was before the Olympics? So, you know, we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's on this episode of The Power of Play with C.J. Stay tuned for episodes of the season and beyond. Later, guys.